is master morality and slave morality. In essence, these two define how you perceive the world depending on your current position. The master morality is defined by embracing the will to power as we discussed in the previous video. Master achieves his goals because he is capable of doing so. The master defines what is good and what is bad for himself and he acts in accordance with it. Sometimes the way towards a goal is blocked, but the master finds a way to fulfill his desires no matter what. A master is a hero, not in the modern sense where he does everything just and right, but in the sense of more ancient stories where the hero is a jack of all trades that is willing to do whatever it takes to save the day. If that means lying and being deceitful at times, then so be it. The master is good at many things, which allows him to achieve his final goal. And even if he crossed some boundaries that others see, he will still feel excellent at the end because it was for a much grander purpose. Oppression might be part of the master morality, but the key aspect is redefining values and seeing new perspectives. On the other hand, we have slave morality, which is defined by being in a position in which you are not able to fulfill your goals. However, you still want to feel decent the German about philosopher yourself. Friedrich Nietzsche. So you invert the master morality. Instead of seeing this dedication towards a goal as a positive attribute, you see it as something negative. Instead of figuring a way out to fulfill your own goals, you resort to justifying your own current position. The prime example of this that Nietzsche brings up is Christianity. You believe in life after death. You follow Christian norms and there are all these things that you cannot and should not do. There are all these sins that you should avoid. The morality turns from doing what it takes to acquire what you want to not being allowed to act in a specific manner at all. The slave morality is not so much about becoming and overcoming yourself as it is about remaining and not doing. It's about sugarcoating your position. The masters, the tricksters, heroes, the people that pursue their goals relentlessly are now the evil that will be punished. They will burn in hell for all eternity while you live according to religious values and go to heaven. In the essence, the slave morality gone, makes a really miserable much. existence more bearable by turning on the people that have exactly what you want. You take all the things that you don't have, the skills that you didn't learn, the behavior that you are afraid of, and rename them as sins, as evil. On the other hand, not pursuing them becomes a virtue, not doing becomes good. And we still find this in modern day. Frugal living can be a result of an inability to make money. Being the nice guy when it comes to dating is not necessarily a good thing. It might just be a lack of courage, rephrased in a positive light. By doing so, you create resentment towards those that have what you want or do what you are afraid of. And at the same time, you see your weaknesses as strength. Nietzsche even recognized a certain beauty in how twisted this is. But at the end of the day, it is a denial of our human condition. Since inaction goes directly against the will to power and the concept of evolving and overcoming, which is a quintessential pillar of Nietzsche's philosophy. Master morality and people that fully embody their will to power, people that truly are the hero of their own life, are not evil. In fact, through the courage that it takes to overcome oneself, one's problems and flaws, through the ability to think about and redefine morality and values, they truly transcend the ordinary human that simply remains in his mindless bubble, in which he blindly obeys the norms that he knows oh so well. It is easy to resent people with a master's morality because they do exactly what we are afraid of. They are exactly the next step because they overcame the fear that we still struggle with. We blame them for doing what we cannot. Thanks for watching and a huge shout out to Eli Z, David Rose, Robert Kempf and Gerald Jones II for supporting me on Patreon. The German philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche coined the phrase master morality and slave morality. In essence, these two define how you perceive the world depending on your current position. The master morality is defined by embracing the will to power as we discussed in the previous video. Master achieves his goals because he is capable of doing so. The master defines what is good and what is bad for himself and he acts in accordance with it. Sometimes 
The way towards the goal is blocked. But the master finds a way to fulfill his desires, no matter what. A master is a hero, not in the modern sense, where he does everything just and right, but in the sense of more ancient stories, where the hero is a jack of all trades, that is 